I would like to show you a technique that I saw Carl Thompson, a crappie tie-in minister, does when he breaks his thread. I thought it was a good idea. Here I'm changing my thread, so I'll show you what he does. You know, as you change a thread, I'm going to put a red gill on here. So I'm trying to capture my thread so it doesn't slip, but I don't have a lot of area to do it in. So if you break your thread, if he what he was doing, he was taking his his tag end and wrap it around his main thread line three times, pulls it up, wraps it a couple times. Now I broke it. This is going to be a perfect example. Okay, here we go. I broke my thread, so I'm going to take my thread wrap, wrap it around a couple times. I know I've got the tag end sort of secured, but if you take your tag end and you wrap it three times around, bring it up, tie a few loops, then take it, run it three times around again, and bring it up and tie it. Now you know your, your tag end is secured, more than secured. You bring up, tri trim off your tag end, and now finish up tying my gills. When he does a whip finish, which is kind of neat too, he takes his whip finish and goes one, two, three, locks it, and then he takes it and does another time. It, he's really going overboard securing that thread, which is a pretty good idea, especially if you, you get a good fly where the fish are just chewing it apart. It'd be nice to make sure your thread doesn't come apart. After he's finished, he takes some head cement and adds it to it. I'm using a flex cement. So not only has we have, have we secured the broken thread or the new thread multiple times and whip finish locked it down multiple times, we also have um, secured it by putting some adhesive on. I'm going to finish the fly just so you can see what the fly looks like. What I've done is put, this is my bedspread fly. Um, a new version of it because I've added a little flash in the bottom. I open up my threads here and I, as you remember with the bedspread fly, you got two threads that crisscross and wrap around. You've got to get those threads off so that tail just flows. And because it is 100% cotton, The um, fly will absorb water and go and sink. Plus with the weight on there, it'll sink too. I really like this thread. I mean, uh, this yarn. And the, the flashing I'm using actually is another thread. It's Madeira. And what I've done is only put one strand on there. Okay, and there's my fly, my uh, updated bedspit fly. The weight is a uh, 132 OG or mushroom head, and I've used uh, softball yarn, Madeira thread, and thank you for watching.